Hi everyone, my name is Crystal Foreman. I'm with Holistic Wellness and Health. And today I will be doing a cooking demo um, from my family's kitchen. So usually I do cooking demos throughout Baltimore City using farms produce, um, our Baltimore City farmers produce from um, the Farm Alliance of Baltimore. But because everyone is in quarantine, I decided to come live and um, show you all what I was planning to do at some of the sites this week. So we have our beautiful kale from, um, this is Curly Kale, and this is from the um, Greener Garden Farm in Northeast Baltimore in the Hamilton area. And we also have beautiful carrots from the Greener Garden. We also have um, garlic from White Lock Farm in um, Reservoir Hill area. And this is um, Red Russian Kale, and that came from Strength to Love Farm in West Baltimore. So um, these are some of the other ingredients we'll be using today. I'll be talking about them as we go through. We're actually going to get started with our smoky kale and garbanzo beans. So we have, I'm using the red Russian kale for the smoky kale. Um, I've already chopped it up, so that's getting ready. I'm going to actually put my oil in my wok, but if you don't have a wok, you can use whatever frying pan you, have, you want to use. I'm using pure sesame oil, which is the smoked sesame oil. You can find at a lot of Asian stores for a really good price. Let's put in a couple of tablespoons in the bottom. Letting that get hot. I have it on medium heat right now. I have white, I'm sorry, yellow onion already finely diced up. And I'll put that in in a moment. We'll also be using the fresh garlic from White Lock Community Farm. And um, diced tomatoes. So we're using canned diced tomatoes because the farmers do not have fresh tomatoes yet. They'll be coming in the summer. Um, but these are organic hunt diced tomatoes. We'll be using Goya chickpeas and liquid smoke. So because it's called smoky um, kale with garbanzo beans, we're using the ripe liquid smoke. This one is harder to find. Um, you can usually find this liquid smoke, the Colgan, from um, at most grocery stores. It's usually near the um, barbecue sauce, so you can use that um, as well. But I like the ripe better because it doesn't have any um, extra chemicals in it. And then we'll be using smoked paprika. I actually bought it in bulk from the Living Well. Um, for a really good price so if you can get it in bulk that's the way to get it but if you can't you can just get um, whatever jars from the store so the smoked paprika and the smoky um, the liquid smoke will actually give it this nice smoky flavor instead of using smoked meats like smoked turkey necks and other smoked meat so we don't have to use that today um, so everything I do is plant-based we don't use any animal products in our cooking um, and I'll just show you this we'll be doing chickpeas as well so this is Goya. I like Goya and Giant Brand just because it's a little um, more tender than some of the other chickpeas out there. My oil is nice and hot, so I'm going to put my onions in. The recipe for the smoky kale and garbanzo bean um, is on the Holistic Wellness and Health website. So you can check out um, the recipe. You have to do a search in the blog section and you'll find that. There. So while that is getting hot, I'm just going to let it saute just a little bit. This is already nice and sizzling. Just let it get a little translucent. Then I'll put our fresh garlic in there just for a few minutes. We want to make sure our garlic doesn't burn. So this is a great time of the year to actually start building up your immune system with everything that's going on. So the garlic is actually very anti-inflammatory. Um, it's antiviral. It has antibacterial properties as well. So a lot of people do use it as, a, um, as an herb or medicinal. So you can definitely cook with it. And our onions are great for our immune system as well. And this, um, this is just a great time to start boosting. So that's going now. I'm going to actually add my tomatoes. If we have fresh tomatoes, we do just um, about half a cup is what the recipe says online. But I'm using a full cup because I'm doubling the recipe because I'm feeding my whole family. So. Smells good already. I'm going to add a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. Just about a um, teaspoon. The pink Himalayan salt has over 84 minerals in it. And it has a really great flavor. It's actually better than the iodinized salt. It doesn't raise the blood pressure quite as fast as other salts. So that's one of the reasons why I like it. And it has them in bleach. And all the um, minerals, the natural minerals, are still in the salt. So that's one of my favorite ones to use. So that's going. And this is a beautiful red Russian kale, so I've already chopped it up nice and fine. So 
So I'm going to go ahead and add my liquid smoke. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of um, the right liquid smoke. You can usually find this at the natural stores. You can also order it online. And I'm going to add some smoked paprika. And that's about a um, tablespoon. You can make it smoky and smoky as you would like. Get my garbanzo beans in there, and then we're going to add our cake. The garbanzo beans help to make this a complete meal. It actually adds a lot of protein and fiber um, to make it more of a filling dish. If you don't want to use oil when you're sauteing the onions, you can actually use apple cider vinegar or um, even balsamic vinegar in place of the oil to kind of saute the onions up. Just have to be careful to make sure it doesn't burn. So while the smoky tail with garbanzo beans is cooking, we'll start on the kale salad. So garbanzo beans, for you all who don't know, it's also known as chickpeas. It's um, a, a really popular in Mediterranean and Middle Eastern North African dishes. I'm just going to let this cook for about 10 minutes, maybe a little less. Trying to get it all, all the kale in here. I was told not to waste the kale <laughs> by my family. Now just use it all. So I actually de did de stem the kale. So I'm going to save the stems and do a stir fry with it, as well as roasting with some potatoes. Um, just put some oil, salt, and pepper, and roast that for about um, 15 minutes. The um, stems themselves for about 15 minutes at 425. If anyone has any questions, you can definitely um, ask on um, right now, and then at the end of the video, I will answer any questions you all have. Alright, I'm just going to turn this down and let that finish cooking. And we're going to get started on our beautiful kale salad. So. Before we get started, this is the curly kale, and this is from the Greener Gardens Farm, and this is the Red Russian kale from Strength of Love 2 Farm in West Baltimore. So you can kind of see this has a little bit of um, color in the stem, it has different phytonutrients, but they both are very high in iron and vitamin C. So whenever you consume iron, you need vitamin C with it in order for your body to actually absorb it. So if you just, like, just eat something with iron alone, without the vitamin C, it doesn't absorb. So this is perfect because it has both of them in it. It's also um, high, the kale also has a nice amount of protein in it. It's high in vitamin A as well, which is great for your skin. It's great for vision. People who have um, like eczema or acne, like vitamin A is a great um, thing to eat internally for it inside your system, um, as well as putting on your skin. So, I have a beautiful kale here. I already have it ready to go. So this is the curly kale. So usually when I do the cooking demos, um, I talk about like Farm Alliance of Baltimore. So the farms I mentioned are part of the Farm Alliance of Baltimore, which is a collective of 17 urban farms throughout Baltimore City. All of them grow sustainably and organically um, using great um, like sustainable procedures to grow their produce. They also um, are looking for volunteers right now. So for people who are willing to get outside and you know just do some garden therapy, this is a great time to help out the farmers. Um, a lot of schools normally would show up at the farms around this time of year during the spring break to help out the farmers. And right now they are actually um, don't have the labor they don't they normally would have. So this would be a great time just to um, get out there, learn about growing your own food, which is important to know, especially in these times. Um, and help the farmers out as well. This is also a great time to look into doing a CSA, Community Supported Agriculture. It's a way to make sure you're getting local produce every week. They just pay ahead of time. Um, it helps the farms get supplies, and um, you get beautiful produce every single week. So it's a great win-win for everyone. So I will post information about um, CSAs for our member farms through the Farm Alliance of Baltimore um, at the end of, of the video today. So I'm actually going to get started with our dressing. Um, because this is such a big amount, I'm actually tripling the recipe that's online. So if you go to holistic-wellnessandhealth.com, 
go to the blog section and type in kale salad. I have two kale salad recipes there. This one and the other one has um, avocado in it. Okay, so I have um, one cup of extra virgin olive oil. Um, this is the organic. You can get that from really any store. And then one cup of balsamic vinegar. I'm actually going to do this over here because it might get a little messy. thing that's fine and actually could you do me a favor and just um, show that so um i'm actually because i'm tripling the amount that i normally make i'm going to put it in a bigger bowl to mix there we go. Um, i love the balsamic vinegar because it actually um, has a sweeter flavor than some of the other vinegars but you can use um, apple cider vinegar as well as um, red wine vinegar. So whatever vinegar you want to use will work. I'm going to put in my garlic. This is minced garlic from White Lock Community Farm. There we go. Um, a little less than a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. Actually, I'll just put a whole teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt and one teaspoon of our agave. So agave is um, a natural sweetener. It's from a cactus plant that looks a lot like uh, an aloe. It can grow very tall. It's usually um, found in the American Southwest, in the western part of the, of the United States. Um, you can see it in Canada as well, but usually it's in the like, southern parts of California and places like that. So I have my garlic, vinegar, olive oil. I'm gonna add Basil, so one teaspoon of um, dried basil, but you can use fresh basil as well. And one teaspoon of dried oregano leaves. And I'm going to add some nutritional yeast to this as well. So nutritional yeast has a nutty, cheesy flavor. It's very high in B vitamins, especially B12, which is great for um, like stress in your nervous system. So a lot of people are stressed out right now. B12 is a great um, way to help like, deal with that stress and relieve the stress. It also helps give you a lot of energy. So for people who um, have low energy, B12 is a great way to get it. And this is a great um, supplement to use to get the great flavor as well as get your B vitamins. I'm going to just mix this up and then I'm going to go check out on our smoky kale. Give that a little stir. All right, it's looking good. You can see all the different colors in there. We have our red, white, and green um, colors. So I advise everyone to eat the five colors of the rainbow. So we'll get most of that in, in this meal. So I'm going to let that continue to cook. I'm going to add some um, black pepper to our um, dressing. Just a pinch. And you can get organic black pepper. It costs um, about the same amount as uh, the regular black pepper. It's like a few cents more, so I'll just say get the organic if you can. And that's everything in here. So I'm just going to let that marinate and put all the ingredients in for our kale salad. So I have a beautiful kale here. I'm going to add um, a cup of pumpkin seeds. A third cup of sunflower seeds. Some diced apples. If you're using organic apples, I like to leave the skin on. If you're not using organic apples, you can um, either peel it or you can add, um, like wash it in baking soda wash or a vinegar wash to get as much pesticides off as you can. So if you use baking soda, it actually removes about 80% of the pesticides um, from the produce. So you can just do like a half a cup of baking soda to about a quart of water to stir that up and soak your produce for about 10-15 minutes and rinse it off get as much off as you can. I have my um, shredded carrots, but you can dice them as well. And that's really everything in there. So I'm going to add our dressing in. Let's stir it one more time. Just 
This salad will keep in the refrigerator for about three to four days. So this is a great dish to make like for meal planning, for like making your lunch for the week. It travels well, it's great for potlucks and taking to events as well, especially during the summertime because you don't have to worry about keeping it refrigerated or if it's going to um, have anything that's going to make it go bad. So just going to massage it. And basically doing this helps break down the cell walls of the kale to make it easier to digest and easier to chew as well. And so basically it's like cooking it. So as I do this, you'll start noticing the leaves will get a little brighter and start um, kind of getting wilted. It's like cooking down, kind of like if I was cooking on the stove, the grains will actually kind of get smaller. So got all the beautiful colors. It smells great. Yeah, so when you're massaging, I always encourage people to throw some love in it as well. Like when you're cooking, if that makes a difference. I think people, um, food doesn't taste as good as it used to because people don't like, aren't cooking. Um, they're eating out as more and they're not cooking with love. So definitely make sure you're cooking, putting some love in here. So especially when you're cooking for your family. But I do it all the time when I'm cooking for you all as well. So I definitely, um, I plan on doing some more demos using the farm's produce um, just to support the farms and let people know how to use their produce. Um, so I'll do some more throughout this week, some more videos this week and next week. And I'll also be doing some container gardening videos um, throughout the week as well. So when I know I'm going to do them, I'll let you all know. Um, so this is a great time to actually start growing your own food because um, of the uncertainty, but I think it's always a great time to grow your own food. It, um, it just tastes better when you grow your own stuff. All right, so our kale salad is done. I feel like I'm missing something. Did I put everything in? You can use cranberries, craisins, you can use blue, dried blueberries in here. Um, you can make it have one of my, like, I throw everything in kale salad. Is everything okay, videographer? Um, it said trying to reconnect, so oh. I don't know if it's, it, Oh, we're getting some love, so okay. I think it's still good. All right, I think we went out for a minute, but we're back. Awesome. So we have all of the ingredients in here. So this will be part of our dinner tonight with me and my family. Um, some of us, my older family members are uh, basically, they're shut in <laughs> under, under government orders. So um, just came by to like, make some food for them, and I'll take some home as well. And this is just a great way to use up the produce that was going to be used for the cooking demos I had planned this week. Um, so since they're not occurring, um, this is a great way to actually show you all some of the things that we do um, with the Farm Alliance of Baltimore and um, other locations as well. So I think we're going to go on and get started um, eating and um, enjoying this. But you all can definitely ask questions, um, make any comments, and I will respond to them later this afternoon, this evening. And um, let me know what foods you all want to see. Um, like, in, like, I can veganize whatever favorite dishes you want. Uh, actually, let's go back over here, too. Let me let you all see this dish. I'm going to turn this off because our smoky kale is done. Look at how beautiful that is. It smells really good. It smells heavenly. So, um, you can tell the kale definitely cooked down and it started off completely full. So, this is complete with protein. It has a lot of vitamins, nutrients. It's quite filling. Um, this is a complete meal by itself. Um, you can do the kale salad as a complete meal as well. We added the sesame, I'm sorry, the sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds, which also add a lot of protein to it, makes it a um, lot more filling, adds natural fats as well. So um, if you all want to see um, any particular dish, I can make that as well. So just let me know what you're interested in seeing um, in the next couple of weeks. And everyone stay safe out there. Peace and love.